Hi guys, I can't believe I'm making this video. 50,000 people have subscribed. I'm not sure that I realized how many that is. 50k is unbelievable. I'm humbled and almost a little scared. This is getting more serious than I expected and planned for, and replying to all your kind comments and messages is almost impossible. But don't worry, I still enjoy reading them all, so please keep commenting and ask questions if you need help. And the more we are, the more you, my dear viewers, can help others with questions in the comments. Thanks for your help. My channel has also grown so fast lately. I started my channel in March 2007, only to be able to subscribe to other channels, comment and so on. My first video was uploaded two years after, in March 2009. After four more years, I was lucky to become a YouTube partner. I think my channel had around 7000 subscribers at that point, but that changed fast. In October 2013, I showed my face for the first time in a video in the celebration of reaching 10k subs. Less than a year after, 25,000 of you had subscribed, and now, in July 2015, it's over 50,000. I am lost for words. Thank you so much. I always challenge myself to improve my channel and be better for every video. In the last year, I have also invested quite a lot in better equipment, so even though I don't have professional stuff, I certainly can only blame myself if my videos aren't of high quality. In this video, we are going to take a break from the science and have a little look behind the scenes of Brainiac Studios. My first three videos were not technically advanced. They were shot with this old camcorder without high definition. It's not even widescreen. It records on tapes, which is a hassle since you don't have direct access to the recordings. But I do like the complicated design of the loading mechanism and the sounds it makes. In my fourth video, I upgraded to widescreen and full HD with this camera. It was a great camera that I used for five years until I lost it in a burglary. So I had to upgrade to this camcorder, which is more modern and even comes with a wide angle lens. Unfortunately, the autofocus is noisy and ruins the sound recordings from this camera, unless you use manual focus. I never had this problem with the older Canon camcorder. Speaking of sound, my fifth video was the first video where I used my voice. I recorded the voiceovers for several videos with this microphone from a Guitar Hero game. It sounds horrible. On this microphone, I sound like this. Now I use this entry-level condenser microphone and my voiceovers are clearly much clearer. Good sound is very important to me, so to compensate for the questionable quality of the sound from camcorders with audible autofocus noises, I bought this portable sound recorder. You can plug high quality microphones to this and record a good clean sound. For example, I use this shotgun mic to record the faint sounds of the JVC camcorder at a distance. I wish I had this when I recorded the intro to my 25k celebration video. It was outside on a windy day and several takes were ruined by wind blowing into the camcorder's microphone. This setup would have been perfect for that day. To hold all this equipment, I have some tripods of different sizes. Nothing special, just enough to get the job done. As you can tell, I recorded without using a tripod here. When recording, I prefer using daylight, but these very cheap work lights have saved me a lot of times when there wasn't enough light and even makes it possible to make decent recordings after sunset. I am considering buying some softboxes for lighting my videos, but they are expensive. And my latest savings went for my new main camcorder. This has a very nice picture quality, even after YouTube's compression. If all goes well, this video should be the first available in 50p quality on my channel. Let me hear if you like it. This will even record in 4K resolution, but I don't have anything that will display 4K. My editing computer also struggles with 4K, but at least my camcorder is ready for the future. So at some point, I will have to upgrade my editing computer. It's an older piece, but still works alright for full HD. The program I use for editing videos is HitFilm 3 Pro. It's great value for money and has more functions than I need. For sound monitoring, I used headphones for many years, but now I have a decent external sound card with monitor speakers that are as revealing as a good set of headphones. Oh, and I almost forgot. For more specialized recordings like the slow motion or filming near splashing liquids, I have a set of action cameras.
Hopefully, you can tell from this little look behind the scenes that I'm getting serious about my channel and prepared for making a lot more videos. My next video will be part 4 of the series with Elements vs. a Magnet. Hope you will like it. Bye for now.